Good evening everyone. In this video series I'm going to get through every ICT execution uh, that he's ever published from his Twitter and from his YouTube. Um, I think that the time for me studying the new material has almost come to an end. I mean until he stops putting out new material but I need to focus on actually you know figuring out how he executes trades. So we're going to be looking through his executions. Um, I've got a mega compilation thread here of all his executions, and I've already put a few videos out there. This is all going to be in a playlist. I'm going to talk you through them. Uh, they're mostly going to be silent because he puts up copyrighted music, so let's go right into it. Okay, so this, we're going to start with uh, February 2nd, 2023. All right, so we're on the E-mini S&P 500. We're on a three... Um, a three split screen top left is one day bottom left is five minute and top right is one minute so one of the things that you need to realize is that when you're watching his execution videos there's a little bit of time distortion happening um, his video will be on a one minute chart right okay uh, but if you're taking trades you know okay so he's already long at the market at 4153 quarters and the stop is below that one minute busy Okay. So he's highlighted the BISI and he's highlighted the volume imbalance in the blue box below. There's buy side liquidity up at 41.54 three quarters. So he's he's going to mark he's going to mark that out. And he's got long 12 contracts. So first target would be 3 points. So See that order block right there? He puts it right at the open of that black candle. So he will also take a measured move of that as well. But it becomes an order block when it trades one tick above the open of the black candle. You could also get long on a buy stop one tick above the black candle's high. Aiming for buy side liquidity. Now he's got a measured move that he comes out with, but um, not exactly sure from where. So he takes it from the full length of the range. So you see from 41.54.75 to 41.44.75. So a 10 point measured move would take you up to 41.65. Okay, those are the measured move, uh, measured move ideas. Okay, so that would be an inverted fair value gap. Orange box is an inverted fair value gap, which is another entry. So first couple of entries come in um, on the BISI that we have below. So he's calling that a breakaway gap or measuring gap, probably a breakaway. The second couple of entries would come in on the bullish order block. So you can see his executions down there. He's on the bullish order block. Target is going to be on a measured move. Okay, so what is that entry? Well, that entry is going to be another retest of the SIBI or the inverted fair value gap or of that black candle that's right next to it. Okay, let's see where his next entry comes in. All right, so the next entry is going to be he he calls it reaccumulation. So that would go into market maker. Um, that would go into market maker buy model. Okay, next entry comes in. I think at like the same exact spot. So the stop goes below that volume imbalance right there, which is where he has in the second to lowest orange box, and that that entry came on uh, the volume imbalance. Another bullish order block. Okay, so again you see that he enters at the market, not on a limit order, at the market, right as it trades back into that bullish order block. Because the narrative is that it's probably going up to a one or two measured move standard deviations. Okay. So every time he, he enters at the market, he's not really showing you like this is how many contracts you should trade. He's just showing you all of the possible entries. And they all lead in the same direction. Any one of them could work. Okay, so same thing there. That would have been on the uh, another test, reclaimed bullish order block. Right. This is a one minute chart and the video is sped up. So you need to realize like this whole process would have taken you 15 minutes. And you can see the time at the bottom is from 0800 to 0830. So 
he sped the video up so it kind of gives you a little bit of a distorted view of how quickly these things are happening I mean really in reality they're happening a little bit slowly okay another bullish order block see if he executes on that no Okay, so volume imbalance on orange box. Just want to see if he has any more executions. Okay, so it's kind of difficult to see, but he's taking a measured move of the bull sorter block. So parcels have come off. That's the first target. And why? So that's I think that was a one a one standard deviation, a one measured move. There's another um, okay. More contracts are coming off as you go off measured moves. I would already be out. Now, mind you, again, this is a one-minute chart, so this whole thing took like 45 minutes, right? You need to be aware of that when you're watching his executions. Yeah, he's right. That is where it would be hard for me to hold. Okay. Um, that is February 2nd, 2023, and now we're going to move on to February 3rd, 2023. Okay. So in the Emini S&P 500, it's a one-minute chart. He's got an eight-hour premium wick consequent encroachment outlined. He's got a small bissy there in the top uh, top pink box and I'm interested to see where that first execution comes in yeah so again he shorts it at the market right so he's not shorting on a stop in this example although he does talk about shorting it you know entering it on stops but the the basic entry here you see the one minute time frame it's uh, between 1140 and 1150 so we're coming up into New York lunch so we know that the market is likely to go and reprice to stops but he enters in as he sees the market is rejecting, and so that would be a an inverted fair value gap entry, okay. IFEG entry on the first entry. Short five contracts. And the first target would have to just be those equal lows, right? And that would be an eight point trade, which would be fine. Second execution, what is that? Uh, balance price range, probably. They're all coming at the market. I want to see if he puts on another execution. Okay, so he's got 10 contracts on, and that one, that execution, I'm not exactly sure why he put on that execution. The measured move is of that bullish order block. So you see those three... Um, green candles, a measured move down takes you to 41.71. Okay. Let's see if he puts on any more contracts. And he's outlining the relative equal lows, and then that bullish order block, one measured move of that takes you to 41.71. Standard deviation. Okay, so three contracts are off. And why would contracts come off there? Well, you just hit new lows, right? And every new low and every new high can reject. So if you're only trading one contract, that would be a very conservative target. Right, more contracts came off as you came to the second low. So second pool of liquidity there was at 41.75 spot 50. And at this point, he's only, only he only has two contracts on. 
if you are trying to play it very conservative and just rack up points over time, uh, honestly, you would just go for for those first relative those first equal lows. A um, little bit more aggressive would just be that second low. F like full on aggression is going for that full order block measured move. Now this is on a one minute time frame and it's sped up. Just be aware of that. Well, it's not sped up. It's just a one minute time frame. Okay, let's see if he puts on any more contracts or if we're just waiting. Now the draw on liquidity is that one minute bissy that you see to the bottom, but notice that just because that's the draw on liquidity doesn't mean that like that's where the full trade is. He's not holding it on that long, he's scalping. Which is what I want to do as well. So the first entry there came up, do you see that inverted fair value gap? That was the first execution. Second execution, I'm going to have to say that's probably a balanced price range, right? So Sibby and then Bissy on the other side, that was the second execution. Third execution, I'm not exactly so sure what that is. Um, I would say short-term premium of that three-candle order block uh, that he was figuring would become an order block. Draw liquidity was lower, that one-minute Bissy, so the bottom pink box. And what was he aiming for? Well, first target was just five points lower, that first low. Second target was the second low, which was ten points lower. Third target is one measured move of the uh, bullish order block right there. So those, sorry, bearish. So those three up close candles. So it's all scalping, guys. It's just quick trades, quick money. Okay, he's got two contracts on. Let's see where the final execution comes in. I don't think he's going to add any more on at this point. one contract yeah so you see that he's scaling out so that execution came right around at the market okay one contract moves the stop down notices that the market you see on the left there there was a bullish order block and a busy that the market reacted off of you notice that I think he gets stopped out for the final contract. Yeah. Okay. So that was that. All right, guys. You're going to be getting a lot of videos like this for me as I'm, I'm really trying to study the mentor's executions. So this video was February 2nd and February 3rd, 2023's executions. The next video is going to be February 8th and February 22nd.